I've worked in the advanced television space for the past 10, 15 years, and I've always had a keen interest in convergence. And even when I was in grad school, when I wrote my big paper at the end, it was on convergence and what at that time AT&T was going to bring to the marketplace. But fast forward 12 years after writing that big paper, I think we're actually entering a period when all of this is really starting to happen. And some of it is behavioral, um, and some of it is being driven by technology. So you know, one of the areas, for example, that I find very interesting right now that, that is bringing all of this stuff together a little bit slowly, but, but suddenly bringing everything together is the area of smart television or connected TVs. As many people may or may not know based upon connection rates and, and things of that nature, by the end of next year, we're going to have roughly, at least this is what the estimates are suggesting, about 38 million connectable televisions in the United States. And what I find so compelling is that all of those televisions are connectable to the internet. So you can switch over from input A to input B and have Hulu and Netflix and all these other interesting apps pumping from the internet right to your television on your couch with your remote control and everything else. But it's also going to be so much more than that where we're building apps now for some of our advertisers. We're bringing content to the world of connected television on behalf of some of our advertisers. We're um, creating games, commerce experiences, all these different things that are coming to you through your TV. And as I look 18 months, two years down the road, as the scale continues to grow within this environment, the, the broadcasters are now starting to pay attention. And they recognize that the world is changing, that there is a new medium here that they have to begin tapping into, and they're learning right now. So before too long, it's my opinion that you're going to start to see connected or interactive programs coming through from the broadcasters with great promotions and concepts tied to shows and everything else. And that's what's going to continue, uh, this evolution into this converged world. And, and then the other part of it, when I talk about behavioral, everybody's familiar at this point within our business about the fact that people are watching television with devices in their hands. So they're watching American Idol or whatever it may be, and they want to vote along, or they want to do this, or they want to tweet about the program that they're watching, whatever it may be. And I believe that there's some astronomical number along the lines of 88% of people who own tablets are holding their device or their smartphone or whatever it may be in their hand while watching television, which is creating an opportunity that is pretty incredible. It has to be done right, I believe, for advertisers, and you have to have the right tie to content and things of that nature to make things relevant and interesting to get people to log in. But behaviors are changing which are creating these other opportunities for advertisers. So platforms like Zbox um, are interesting. They create a social environment with content and, and, and ways to purchase products and, and, and ways to just sort of blow out a show are interesting. Um, uh, networks building apps that can leverage what's referred to as ACR technology, where the apps can listen to what's going on on television and start, and start, start to create symbiotic relationships or, or dynamics or dialogues are very interesting. So I think we're in a period where technology is taking us towards real convergence and we're also seeing behavior shift that's taking us towards convergence. You know, I think it's, it's important to keep in mind that the television, uh, the primary screen or the first screen is still the most important screen because that's what's driving all the engagement and that's where people are still going to find entertaining content first. However, um, we're able to sort of build upon that in, in some pretty unique and fun ways in today's environment.